Hey guys, it's Annabelle. So I completely apologize about the sun, um, but I did want to do um, a video that, um, it's kind of a downer video actually, but I kind of just wanted to put it out there and see if I could get some feedback from people. Um, but um, I want to do a video on how we are beginning to talk about death, dying, loss um, with our kids. Um, now, my daughter has already seen um, a few people in our lives pass away and she's had lots of questions about it. Um, and we talk about um, God and going to heaven and things like that with her um, on a nightly and weekly basis. We, we have Bible time and we talk about God, we read Bible stories, um, we say prayers, we do all that kind of stuff. And that is the approach that we are taking with um, like death and dying. Well, we have a significant family member um, who has an illness that will lead to uh, death. Now, we do not know when, we don't know if it will be soon or if it will be a couple of years, but my daughter has already started asking questions. And she's older now. Um, the last person to pass away, she was um, an older two-year-old, younger three-year-old was the last time we had someone significant pass away. Um, so now she's older and she understands a little bit more and so she's asking a lot of questions. So this is like the simplest form, like basically um, how we are handling the situation. So we, we talk about what's wrong and we talk about um, how when she's sick, that we, we can give her some medication at home and that'll make her feel better. And then there's other times where she's sick and she's too sick for the medication that we have at home to help her. So then we have to go to the doctor. And then I was like, well, sometimes people are sick where they have to be in the hospital and they need like doctors and nurses to help them. And so she was. She started asking about, well, when uh, my son and my her baby sister were born and that I was in the hospital. And I was like, yes, I was in the hospital so that way the doctors and nurses could help me. But I was only there for two days and they helped me and made sure everything was okay so that way we could go home. So that's how we have been explaining stuff to her. And so then I was like, well, some people, and, it, and I, I didn't say the following um, to scare her, but I, but I wanted her, like, I'm trying to be as honest as possible with my kids. And I was like, well, you don't have to be old to die. Some people are so sick that even doctors and nurses can't help them anymore. And that doctors and nurses help as much as they can, but sometimes that that's just not possible. And people die. And sometimes there's an accident that causes people to die and things like that. Like, And some people have said that I'm going way too far with a four-year-old, but when she asks me a question, I am giving her the answers that she is looking for. And my daughter doesn't necessarily act like she's four. Um, she understands and knows um, a lot more concepts. So uh, that is where we are at with her. So we have ex ex explained that the family member is not well and that they are the kind of sick that doctors can't help anymore. So she, she has grasped that. So that's kind of how we've explained the whole kind of dying thing. Now, how we've explained death and kind of what happens after death and things like that, we have um, just basically gone with the, when you die, your earthly body dies. And then you get to turn into an angel and go be with God in heaven. Um, that is the best way that she has been able to understand it. So that is what we go with. And we talk about it. Actually, we talk about it frequently. Um, she's very concerned. 
And so we talk about other funerals and things that we have been to for family friends that we were close to. And she remembers those. And so she knows what's going to happen. And like when um, this person like passes away and stuff, we're going to have to talk about all of it all over again and just get her in a good place. Um, I don't want her to be sad or scared about death. Um, I would like her to know that like funerals and stuff is for saying goodbye to like an earthly like being and um, that they are saying like hello to like God in heaven. Um, so we will see where this kind of goes and everything. Um, if anyone has any suggestions or tweaks or um, positive or negative comments, um, I've gotten all from friends and family. Um, but I, I know where my daughter is, so that is why I'm choosing to um, take the approach that I have with her. And stuff might be different with my son. My son is like where his he is at mentally. He is nowhere near um, ready for any kind of discussion about that kind of stuff. So we have not even touched on any of that with him. Um, but yeah, anyways, any questions or comments, leave them below. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.